Welcome to a new video and I hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm sure you can tell that this is going to be another unboxing with the mountain of packages that are sitting behind me. And I thought I would do another unboxing before I head back to LA. I found quite a few new cool pieces and designers that I wanted to share with you guys. And let's get started because we have a lot to get through. So I thought we would start off with the ones that are not boxes and this is the first one which is from a website called Eleven Store and I think they are based in Italy somewhere. I stumbled across the site because I was looking for these pair of jeans from a brand called Telfar and I've been really into Telfar lately because they do such cool pieces and I'm excited to show you guys what's in here. So this first pair is really cool because it has this puffer flare at the bottom and if you know me, you know I love things that are a little bit more interesting or different and that's exactly what these jeans are because I've never seen a pair of jeans that has like half puffer and half denim and I just thought this was so cool and unique. I love it for the winter time and I just think it's so fun and I cannot wait to style these when I go to LA. The jeans also have this sort of contrast stitching and the back looks like that. The pockets are a little different than your typical jeans which I also like and there's a tiny little pocket up here as well maybe if you want to put like your lipstick or something or some small little items maybe your airpods it's like the perfect size for something like that so this next pair has three different materials it's denim then there's like a knit fabric and then we have leather on the bottom it's giving me like western cowgirl kind of vibes and I think I would probably pair this with like my Dior saddle bag. I have one that's vintage and it has the same kind of leather material. I think it would go really nicely together with that. And like the other pair, it has the same pocket detailing on the front and on the back here. And I'm a big fan of jeans. So whenever I come across a cool pair of jeans, something like this, I can't resist. And if they don't have my size, I'm like on the hunt trying to find it everywhere because I just think they're so cool and this is like what makes fashion so fun and why I love it so much. These leggings are the last thing that I got from Elevé Store. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly again, but it is from a brand called Vaquera. Vaquera? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly either, but it's a New York City based brand. I looked up their Instagram and they have so many cool pieces. I just love this flare detail that's on the bottom. It has like a little buckle here and a very exaggerated bell bottom flare. And Throughout the leg, it's like very tight, like a legging. Now let's move on to this package. So our next package is from a brand called Yaito. And please excuse me if I'm mispronouncing again. We're starting off with a lot of mispronunciations, or at least I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So just pardon my pronunciations. But they sent me these beautiful bags and this girl hand makes them. So I selected this really cool silver and white lizard print. And I really loved the shape of this bag. It's like a prism kind of pyramid shape. And I love how it has this croc embossed detail on it with this like shiny silver part. There is like a zipper that's on the bottom, so you can put like maybe your phone or something in there. Mine has like a battery attached, so it might be too thick. But you can put like some small little things, which is cool, and the inside has a red lining. The other bag she also kindly sent me is this cute little cowhide one, and I saw these on her Instagram, and I believe the way you carry it is you tuck this part through and it becomes kind of like a little bucket bag, which I think is so adorable. And I love the cowhide print on it. It's really soft. And this is definitely one that you can easily use and kind of throw in all your essentials. And I just think the shape is so cute. Both of them are like mini size, which is perfect for me because you guys know I love my bags to be smaller. 
This next package is from Farfetch and you guys know it's one of my favorite places to shop because they have so many cool things that come from boutiques all over the world. And I got a vintage Dior skirt from Amore, which is a vintage store in Tokyo, I believe. I'm really sad that I never went to Amore or any of those cool vintage stores in Japan when I visited a few years ago. But I know next time I go, I definitely have to stop by because I heard they have like the most amazing designer vintage. But anyways, I saw this skirt online on Farfetch and I didn't even know it was coming from Amore until after I placed my order and it tells you which boutique the item is coming from. I love vintage Dior, vintage Chanel. Those are all some of my favorite brands to get vintage from. So this is a skirt that's from the Dior Hardcore collection, I believe that's what it's called, but it has these like little eyelets all over it and it has the Dior Hardcore print. I also love this like metal thing that's on the back and the thing that's sometimes difficult with vintage is sizing so it's a hit or miss whether or not you get something in your size and I'm lucky that they had this skirt in my size and I think this little skirt would be perfect for the summer to pair it with like a black crop top or something or tuck in a t-shirt it's very easy to style pieces like this and I think it's so cool and it's a nice addition to my vintage Dior collection <laughs> So next we have a pair of sneakers that I found on GOAT or StockX. I can't remember which one it was now, but it was either one of those two sites. And this is the pair that Nike did with Matthew Williams. And I love Matthew Williams and he's currently the creative director of Givenchy and I love Matthew Williams for Givenchy. I think I prefer over Ricardo, honestly. But anyways, these shoes he did with Nike and my friend sent these to me because she said I really needed them. I fell in love with them because I just love like this kind of off whitish gray color. I think it's so easy to match and it has this like silver detailing here. I also love how there's silver inside like on the bottom here and it looks kind of like one of those conveyor belt sort of things. The bottom of the sneaker is like the other Nike one that you guys saw in my previous video, but I love how they do like the textured squares. It makes it kind of different. I've kind of been getting more into sneakers lately just because I'm spending a lot more time in comfortable clothes. For example, I'm wearing a different color of my Pangaea outfit. I know the previous video was orange. Today I'm wearing pink. I mean, just keeping it casual, no makeup or anything. So that package actually has the same Vaquera leggings that I showed you guys earlier, but it's just a different size. So there's really nothing to show you guys. This one, I believe, is an extra small and the other one is a size small. I just got both sizes to see which one would fit better. Moving on, we have a gifting from Rotate and the package had a little rough journey as you can probably tell from the condition of the box, but it came all the way from Denmark because that's where the brand is based. I selected a few pieces from them, so I will show you guys what I got. The first piece is this really fun dress. And it's like a little black dress, but it has this giant pink bow across the top. It's strapless, and I think it's just such a fun party dress. I love the mini length, and the pink actually matches my sweatshirt. This will definitely be something fun to wear to a party or a dinner. I also got this pair of pants, and this is like a really cool material, and you guys know I'm a big fan of interesting or like innovative fabrics. It feels kind of like a nylon blend material, but I really love how it has this shine to it. And the last thing are these patent pink trousers, and these are also super fun. I love the color and I love how it's like that latex shiny material. There's a cute zipper detail on the bottom here so it can like split open. And I think these also came in white, but I thought the pink was a little more fun and I don't really have any pink shiny pants like this. So this will be another fun piece for me to style. 
We have something from Bottega Veneta, which I wasn't expecting because I didn't order anything from them, but I think I know what it is. I believe it's a Chinese New Year gift that arrived late. So I think it came when I was in LA, so I never got a chance to open it before I left. But now I'm back and I know it's way past Chinese New Year, but let's open it anyways because I love this packaging. And it's in this really fun triangle shaped box. Let's see what's inside. Oh, there's like a really cool little camera in here. I love these Polaroid cameras, so they're perfect for me. I'm like always taking Polaroids and this is such a fun little gift. I will definitely be using it because if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will know I'm a big fan of taking Polaroids and shooting on film. So this is like a fun camera to have and it says Bottega here on the side as well, which is Cool. and it's a Lomo Instant Automat. I'm not sure. I'm sure I'll be able to figure out how to use it or I'll have my photographer try to help me figure out how to use these. And we finished the first row. Now moving on to the second one. And this is also from Farfetch because you can tell it has their little F stickers. So let's see what we have in here. So from Farfetch, I got these off-white pants and I actually have the dress version of this pants because I really like the print of them and I thought why not get the pants. It's kind of like a pink black tie-dye swirl print. I don't know how to describe it really but it's pretty interesting and it also has the off-white hand logo all throughout and the bottom of the pants have these ties so you can kind of cuff it around your ankle or you can just tie it in the back like how it is now and it would just be one long straight leg so there's different ways you can style this piece that yellow package is a gifting from an Australian brand called AJE and I actually first got this really cool denim skirt from AJE probably like six seven years ago like a very 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 long time ago and I still have the skirt because I love denim skirts and this was a really unique one but I kind of forgot about the brand for a little bit until they reached out and I was like oh my gosh I remember this brand and I selected these two pieces from them it's like this little white crop top and a matching skirt. So this crop top has these huge balloon sleeves and we also have this maxi skirt that goes with it and this would just be such a cute summer set. The skirt is kind of like a midi length and I just love like white crop top skirt combos for summer. <laughs> This is another piece from Vaquera and basically how I found this jacket was after I discover a new designer, I always go on their Instagram or I Google them and go onto their site to kind of see what else they have because I'm always intrigued by what caught my attention in the first place and I kind of want to see what the overall vibe of the brand is and I really loved this brand because it's like cool, fun, edgy and I just love supporting these new designers as well. So this is a super cropped black croc embossed jacket and it's like this shiny patent leather. The croc embossed gives it a nice texture and I love how it's like a super cropped length because usually cropped jackets are not this cropped. I mean definitely you would have to layer something underneath it like a bodysuit would be really cool or I don't know I have to kind of play around. But I don't have very many jackets that are like this crop. Those two packages were both from Setire. I opened it together because they're from the same place. And I have two pairs of shoes. One is from the Attico and the other is Balenciaga. So let's start with this pair from the Attico. This is a black kind of prism shaped mule. I thought the shape of this heel was really interesting and I love how it's like this 
giant triangle which will probably make it very easy to walk in since it's not like a skinny stiletto and you can't really go wrong with like black mules black goes with everything and now from balenciaga we have a pair of sneakers so as i said earlier i've been kind of into sneakers it's like an all black sock sneaker this is one of balenciaga's classic sneaker styles this sock one and i have a black and white version it's like black and the bottom part here is white but i've never really seen this all black with like the pops of red it's a super comfortable sneaker so if you're looking for something that's comfortable but also like fashion i would definitely give these balenciaga sock sneakers a try some of the other balenciaga sneakers are really really heavy but this one is light and it's very soft and comfortable it's like wearing a sock That package was from Saks and it's a pair of Prada boots that I pre-ordered and these boots, I have the tall version of them and the short version I had actually always wanted but when they first came out with them I wasn't really sure about like whether or not I liked the short style. Then when I decided I wanted the short boots, they were sold out in my size so I had to pre-order them. So they're finally here and it's the short version of that tall monolith one. It has like the nylon part here, the little pocket, and it's basically the same as that taller boot, but a short ankle version. This is a gifting from La Pointe, and this brand used to be called Sally La Pointe, but then they changed the name to just La Pointe. I'm not really sure what they sent me, but let's take a look. It looks like it's a sweatshirt set. So we have a oversized cream sweatshirt here and it says La Pointe across the front in white letters. And I think this is the matching pair of pants. This cream color is really nice and the material is super soft. So the battery just died. I think this new camera that I got has like a really short battery span or I've had like issues with it running out in the middle of filming these unboxings. So I'm gonna to try to get through the rest of these quickly. This is quite an interesting package. It looks kind of like a pizza box. It says, caution, it's hot inside. So maybe it is meant to be like a pizza box. And the brand is Ksenia Schneider. Inside the first pizza box, we have this jacket, and it's super lightweight. It's almost like tin foil like a little bit, which is quite interesting, and I definitely do not have anything like this. I do have a purple crinkled leather jacket that's from Cise Marjan that I wore during actually a, a Zoom thing with Bling Empire. And the other piece is this pair of denim shorts. The brand is actually known for their denim, and I really love this patchwork detail. It has this like stripe design throughout and a back pocket here. I like how the length is almost like a skirt length, so it kind of has a flare to it. In that second pizza box, we have this white denim set. And I remember the brand told me that they actually specifically made this set for me because it was from a previous collection, but I really loved this outfit and they didn't have any more on hand, so they made this. I'm always really thankful whenever a brand makes something specifically for me. So we have this cropped white denim jacket and it has these covered denim buttons, which I really love. These are the matching pants. These pants are really cool because they have this really, really big side slit, and so the whole side of the leg can be open. I think this outfit would be really cool with like white Balenciaga pumps, so it will be like an all-white look with white shoes, white pants, white jacket, maybe like a white bag or something. So this package is from Ukes, and Ukes is great for finding things that you've missed out on or that were past season that you wish you got but you didn't get because they kind of get, I think, all of net portes and some other brands that they own. They get all like the 
merchandise that wasn't ever sold. These were some Saint Laurent boots that I stumbled across the other day. I believe it was with one of Anthony Vaccarello's earlier collections with Saint Laurent, but they had the really tall crystal ones and this is like a shorter, more wearable and casual version of those boots. It's like the black kind of triangle heel and it has this mesh ankle part. And I love how it has like a little bit of a shine to it because they're like these little black kind of sequin things. All right, we are finally onto this third row. So this one is from Cartier and I know what's inside this because my mom actually told me to get this one because it was recently Chinese New Year and I'm born in the year of the ox. You're supposed to wear red or some sort of like blessed red bracelet or necklace or something when it's your year because it means it's actually bad luck for you that year. So I'm supposed to be wearing something red at all times, which I haven't been. But this bracelet from Cartier is basically like a Chinese New Year bracelet. It's just a plain little red rope. It has a little trinity thing here in the middle and I'm supposed to wear this 24 seven. So let's put it on right now. I chose this trinity one and I know there's also a love version, but I just preferred the trinity circles for this, even though I prefer love bracelets over like trinity rings. And obviously this needs to be tightened, but it's quite difficult to tighten by yourself. So I'm gonna have to ask my mom or someone to help me do it later. I'm actually just gonna take it off now because it's gonna bother me while I'm opening the rest of the packages. That package was from Louis Vuitton and we just have this tiny little orange box that has this pair of earrings that I ordered just a few days ago. And there's also a matching necklace and there's two of them, the other one's in here. So it's like a little zipper and I actually don't have many silver costume jewelry mm -hmm. earrings and I love pieces that are like this so I thought might as well get this and there's also a matching necklace so I can wear them together or separately. So this package was a Charlotte Tilbury gifting and Charlotte Tilbury is actually one of my favorite makeup brands and I'm obsessed with their Pillow Talk lipstick. It's honestly the one that I wear all the time. I'm like one of those people that has so many makeup products and lipsticks but I always use the same one. This one is called Charlotte's Magic Cream and it says Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. And this is a perfume, it's called Scent of a Dream, so I'll have to give these a try. And we also have a cute little burgundy box, and there's quite a few little things. So this is a Magic Serum Crystal Elixir, and then we also have a push-up lashes with instant volume and 24 our lift effect and this is a lip cheat so it's their pillow talk lip cheat which is actually perfect for me i think it's just another word for a lip liner and i don't have a lip liner that goes with my pillow talk lipstick so i will definitely be using this together next time and this is a airbrush flawless finish which is i think some sort of setting powder. Yes, it's a micro perfecting powder. And this one is Swish Glow Blush. So I'm gonna have to open these later and test them out. Or usually if I don't use some of the makeup because I usually have makeup artists do my makeup, I just give it to my friends or to the makeup artist since I don't want to waste them. Oh, and this is a Pillow Talk lipstick, but the packaging looks a bit different, so I'm thinking, oh, it's a matte version. So I guess the one that is their original is not matte and they came out with a matte color. So I will definitely be using this one. And we also have two more things in here. They're a little bit stuck in the bubble wrap. Let me see if I can get it out. This is a eyeshadow palette and it looks like it's called I'm not sure. 
And we also have, oh, their Film Star Bronze and Glow. I actually have this and I love it. It's so nice for like highlighting and contouring. The colors are very suitable for my skin tone. And yeah, that's everything from Charlotte Tilbury. So let's get through the last few boxes before my battery dies again. This is a little gifting from Balmain Hair Couture and this looks like it is the shampoo and conditioner that they just added to their new collection. So we have here the conditioner and it says it's for color treated hair. I currently use a color treated hair conditioner and shampoo even though my hair is not colored anymore. I did have highlights in a long time ago but I really loved the Kerastase shampoo I was using, so I just stuck with it even though all the color is grown out. So these are the new shampoo and conditioner for their Couture shampoo line. Alright, so we have something from Prada, and this was actually bought on Farfetch, but Farfetch is linked with boutiques, and Prada is one of them. So we have here, I already know what's inside, a crystal scrunchie. It's like very extra, I know, for a scrunchie, but it can also be worn as a bracelet, and I think it's so beautiful and fun. I've seen Chanel do like leather scrunchies, and Prada has like satin ones, but of course I have to do the crystal one, because you guys know I love these like embellished pieces, and I just think it's so beautiful, and it could easily be worn as like a bracelet or you could put it into like a ponytail or something if you want to like jazz up a hairstyle and I have this matching bag which would be cool to carry together like if you wear it as a bracelet and you carry the bag it'll be like super blingy on your hand and your wrist this is another pair of shoes from the Attico and I don't know if you've noticed, but I've kind of been into Attico shoes lately. It's actually the same as the black one that I just showed you guys, but this is a neon orange color. I love this bright orange. I actually don't have any orange shoes. This sandal came in orange, in green, and in pink, and black. I ended up doing the black and the orange, and then I wanted the green ones but then they were sold out in my size so i just got the orange and the black i love how this orange pair has like the white triangle thing at the bottom it makes it have like a interesting contrast and this one is also satin the black one i think it was also satin i believe the green one is patent and i think the pink pair is also satin i'm super excited to wear this with like some summer outfits and add a pop of color so next we have some shoes from Off-White and these are a pair of sneakers. It's just a plain white sneaker. They have this interesting like security tag detail on it. This is what the brand is known for doing on their sneakers. I've seen a lot of ones with like a red one, but this is kind of a swirly marble print, which is pretty cool. And I love my sneakers, and you can't really go wrong with white sneakers. And it also says shoelaces here on both sides of the laces, and has their like logo on the back. And the bottom has this clear portion here on the sides. That giant package is from Peter Doe, and you guys know I love Peter Doe because I've spoken about the brand in some of my other videos. And they sent me these pair of boots that I've actually been eyeing for quite some time and I don't know why I never bought them. These are the boots and it's a very simple plain black boot but you can tell the silhouette is really nice and my favorite part is the squared off metal toe. I think it makes the boot subtly different but also kind of like edgy because it's like a metal squared toe front. And there's a zipper here, so it's very easy to get on and off. I can tell that it will fit really nicely around the leg because of the shape. It almost looks kind of like a molded leg. I don't have any fitted black boots like this that are tall, so I'm super excited to wear these. This 
is the second to last package and this one actually came this morning. It's from A. Paris and they're known for like their vegan faux furs and leathers. So I selected a few pieces from them and this first pair is some brown joggers. Now my battery looks like it's running low so I'm not going to open these and show you guys but it says brown vegan leather joggers. And this is a brown vegan leather matching shirt. And we have this black oversized vegan leather shirt. So as I was saying earlier, the brand is known for their like faux furs and vegan leathers. They're super soft and buttery. And yeah, I mean, those are all nice classic pieces to have. And I'm vegan myself and I do wear like furs and I do have exotic skin bags but when I can do vegan leather or when a brand does have vegan leather I definitely support that. Last but not least we have something from Chanel. I honestly don't remember what it is that's in here so I'm just as curious to find out. Oh I remember now. This is a super cute cropped sweater. It's from their Hollywood collection. I think this little cropped sweater would be so cute, just like worn alone with some shorts or with some jeans, or you could layer like a white collared shirt under it and I think that would be really nice as well. So this Chanel sweater is the last piece in the unboxing. And I think I'm going to end this video here because I'm honestly so exhausted from opening all these boxes and there's stuff everywhere. I feel like this was my longest or biggest unboxing I've done. There was like 15 or 20 packages, I don't know, and it feels like I've been sitting here for like two or three hours. I'm not sure where my phone is. I think it's buried somewhere here so I can't check the time, but it feels like at least two hours and I definitely don't plan on trying any of this on tonight. I just want to clean up all these things. I have like all those boxes over there and all these clothes and shoes to bring up to the closet so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, please don't forget to follow me on instagram if you don't already you'll be able to see me wear all these pieces on my instagram and i will see you guys in the next video